We're learning more now about the dozens of migrants that were flown to Sacramento last week, and we were at the Sacramento Executive Airport when the second plane of migrants landed. 16 people were on board that day, and Case Area 3's Andrea Flores joins us right now with what has happened now just in the past week, Andrea. So it's been more than a week since at least 36 migrants arrived here in Sacramento, and 32 of them remain in our area and are being supported by churches, government agencies, and community volunteers. Now, since the migrants landed here in Sacramento, these community partners have been able to provide the following short term housing, clothing, immigration, legal services, medical vision and dental services, mental health services, hygiene services, meals and RT passes, just to name a few. And coordinators say they will continue to assist these migrants as they carry out their immigration processes. And we've heard from politicians on both sides of the migrant issue about them being here. Right. Have we had a chance yet to hear from the migrants themselves? Because last week we weren't able to hear from them. Unfortunately, we yeah. haven't. We have put those requests in and we are in contact with the organizations helping the migrants at this point, but we have not heard from the migrants directly about if they wanted to come to California. Hmm. We have also once again asked the state of Florida for a copy of the document. All of those migrants supposedly signed mm -hmm. when they arrived in Texas before they were flown to Sacramento and we still have not received that as well. Okay. So we'll, we're keeping our eyes peeled yeah. for that and we're waiting for those updates as they come well, in. Well, they're getting aid right now and we're still reaching out to try to talk to them. Absolutely. Right, Andrea, thank you.